Hey friends, it's been a long while and don't really have an excuse, it's just school's killing me and <laughs> didn't feel like making videos when I'm being slaughtered by school. Um, but anyway, I, when I'm gone, my, most of my comments are on my older videos and most of those comments are about extreme hunger and I'm gonna make another video about extreme hunger because I don't think there can be enough videos about extreme hunger. So. I'm going to give you a glimpse into my mindset as to why I'm letting extreme hunger happen. Now, I've said before that when I entered extreme hunger, it was right really early in my recovery. I'm talking one or two days into recovery, it hit. And I, you can understand like when you first start in recovery, you're very uh, nervous <laughs> and you're stepping in and you're starting to eat more and, and it's like hard to imagine you letting yourself eat more. Extreme hunger kind of eliminated that fear just because I didn't really have a choice per se. It was either you eat or you're just, it was, it was just automatic. It was like a magnet to food. It was, I just had to go. I had to eat. And it was afterwards where I'd be like, wow, and thus the panic attacks. <laughs> Um, but how was I okay with that? How are you okay with that? How do you let yourself eat so much? How do you let yourself eat more than 3,000 according to Minimot? Uh, well, if you don't have the automatic thing like I did, I definitely had that. Um, then the way that I thought about it sometimes was that I know I'm not going to start healing until... I get my period back until I'm totally re weight restored, until I'm mentally, uh, well, you don't have to be mentally there to start like physically recovering, but really I just wanted to get the work done on my body. I wanted to get my period back, I wanted my body to trust me, and extreme hunger was a miracle in that way because it really allowed you to gain weight real quick, and to you that's panic invoking, and I get that because it's panic invoking to see it in the mirror sometimes. But it's really helpful, like just honestly it's helpful because you get to not put that much effort in. You do not have to be stuffing yourself because you're just hungry. You don't have to be stuffing yourself. And realize that normal people, when they, if they have, if they try to match you with what you're eating, they would not be able to do it because it's going to be uncomfortable. For you it's not comfortable, which is a gift. Like your body isn't broken, it just knows what it's doing. So you stuff that turkey, if you know what I'm talking about. So you're stuffing the turkey, and the turkey's growing exponentially, and you're a little scared about that, but that's okay. This is what's going to happen to your turkey. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good metaphor. I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm just trying to deal with the reality in a little better way. Okay, so here we are stuffing our turkey, turkey very well. It's very efficient what we're doing, because our body wants to be efficient. Our body isn't in the mindset of, will I look good in this dress if I eat this? It's in the mindset of, will I be able to become fertile again if I eat this? Let me see, I'll just try. And, you know, my main reason for recovering, what sparked my recovery, was looking into osteoporosis and osteopenia due to amenorrhea. And, uh, to solve that, the best way to solve that is to get it early, to to get the weight on you so it can start repairing the muscles, the bones, any other tissues that you might have damaged in the process. Feelings and thoughts have a place in recovery. You need to deal with these feelings and thoughts that come up. But the root of it is science, and the science that let me, uh, uh, extreme hunger was very emotional. Obviously it's going to be emotional. The thing that kept me rooted was science. For me, going through it, I was not grateful for extreme hunger. Except for times, like little sparses of times where I was like, okay, yeah, this is a good thing because I'm gaining weight quickly. You gain the weight quickly so you can heal quickly so you can lose the weight quicker. And let me pause there. I'm not, I'm not saying extreme hunger to talk about this. It's pretty, it, it was a traumatic time and a homegirl's so glad to be out of it. But, um, it was, it was a long time ago. I started recovery two years ago when it happened for that first like six, seven months. Um, 
then coming out of extreme hunger, I was this much larger person with a weird redistribution, weird distribution, and then the redistribution happened, which was pretty cool. And I'm still somewhat redistributing. I've stayed solid. Um, ex I mean, this semester I've even redistributed a little bit too. Um, but anyway, if you do extreme hunger and you gain the weight quickly, it's quicker that you will redistribute because that is something that happens and that's proven through many studies. I think Misera is one study that you can look up if you're interested in that. I feel like this was one time where I was tough on myself. There's a time and a place to realize how traumatic recovery is because it is very traumatic. But extreme hunger is not something you should feel sorry about. You should feel sorry for yourself about because it is a gift to you that you can have extreme hunger that you can put on the weight quickly. If you didn't, if you had to stuff yourself like it was uncomfortably full every time you ate, that would be awful. Like first you would be dealing with the demons in your head, but you, even your body wouldn't be co cooperating. Extreme hunger is a sign that, hey, I need this. Your, my, hey, your body here, you need this. Please continue with the plethora of food. It's a sign saying, go ahead, you need this, we can do this. And it's hard. You need to deal with those emotions, but you cannot let those emotions um, interrupt the feeding process. So you're gonna have your center here, and you're gonna deal with the emotions over here, but mostly you're gonna be eating the food, okay? Those emotions are there, and you cry about them, and you have as many panic attacks as you want about them, but you need to focus on the food, because if you focus on the food, then the healing can start quicker, then the redistribution can come half faster, and that'll be good. And what got me, th this is my scientific thinking to get me through extreme hunger. My real, like, broad scope was I'm going to do extreme hunger, I am going to gain the weight, I am going to redistribute, and if I don't like what I'm at the end, then I can just go back to whatever eating disorder I had. Because, I mean, what we're doing here is expanding your life. So, you have more time in your life if you want to go back to your eating disorder in the end. Like, you do recover, you f recover fully, and you're like, hey, I miss starving myself, and I miss feeling weak, and I miss destroying every cell in my body. I'm gonna go back. Like, first of all, it sounded ridiculous even at the time, but now it sounds even more ridiculous, because why would I ever want to go back to that? So, do it for science, do it for healing, doing it for redistribution, and you can go back if you want to, but you won't want to. So, I hope this helps. Um, I know that extreme hunger is hard, and... There are plenty of my videos that are saying that we I feel for you, but um, this is also extreme hunger is a gift, and we shouldn't forget that. Like even though it's causing us a lot of turmoil, we should not forget the gift that extreme hunger is. So I will talk to you later, sooner than last time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.